Today on the channel, let's get digital with the McFarlane Toys Digital Figure Wave with Green Arrow, Longbow Hunter. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse unboxing and review. And today, from the digital line, we got the Longbow Hunter Green Arrow. But for all your Green Arrow needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up DJC Collectibles. Use discount code ADOFDJC to save 8% off your entire order. Gotta get a deal out there. And of course, we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're gonna take a look at the packaging. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And Green Arrow, an interesting one. Always think of him a little bit with the superpowers and, of course, the old Kenner toy line back in the day. And when I close my eyes and I think of the Green Arrow, this is exactly what I think of. And I always think back, too, to the 70s Mego toy line. Now, I wasn't alive in the 70s. However, my uncle was. I've talked about it on the channel before. He had a lot of Migos back in the day, and one of the ones he did have was Green Arrow. And whenever I see this incarnation, I always think back to that Mego I played with as a child. So very cool to get this one here from McFarlane. And we've gotten some other Green Arrows we'll talk about a little later on. But this is my Green Arrow. This is what I think of for Green Arrow. And that's where we're going to dive in, this new digital line. I believe this is, what, Series 2 at this point? An interesting line, some of this digital stuff. I don't really understand it. However, what I do understand is there's a digital card in here. You sign up and somehow it goes to the McFarland website. Whatever it is, you can end up getting this set and other sets a lot cheaper. So I got this set like half off through McFarland Toy Store because I bought the Green Lantern, Aquaman, Batman from the last wave and scanned my code. So if you're looking for deals out there, it's not a bad uh, way to go to market, I'll tell you that much uh, at the end of the day. So there it is, the so Green Arrow coming in hot. Of course, Green Arrow here, uh, Green Arrow down below. Now these are usually at Target stores, Walmart stores, back with the NECA stuff. For whatever reason, I'm not exactly sure how they classify these things, but that's where you'll find them usually. Uh, you do got the old McFarland logo up here, interested with the Spawn logo, of course. 22 points of articulation, big window box going on. 14 and up, this is not a toy. Mark Summers, you tell them all about it. 14 and up on this one, so be careful. Little let the light in on the side over here. Longbow Hunter Green Arrow. Not hunting with the short bow tonight. He's going longbow. He's going long all day long. Green Arrow up close. There's a little arrow action as well. Looking pretty good. 22 points articulation, as I did say. Pulling this out. Whipping this out. See you later. Goodbye. We got two different cards going on, and we got a rookie unboxing right here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I powered through. Who knows? See you later. Goodbye. Two cards right there. And then we got the McFarland stand. See you later. Goodbye. And see you later. Goodbye off the screen. McFarland stand. Seen it before. Seen it again. However, it's different for these digitals. For whatever reason, you get a digital stand here. A little bit of a head scratcher, if you ask me. Now, you do get this card. You scratch it off like a lottery ticket is what you do right here. And then you go uh, register it, I guess. And I will do it again because who knows if it's going to get me some deals. Every penny counts in the action figure game. Green Arrow, real name Oliver Queen. Oliver Queen is the Green Arrow, a hero who uses his skills as an expert archer to bring justice to the streets of Seattle. And Seattle needs some help. Somebody bring the justice out there. Facing assassins, and there's a lot of assassins in Seattle, as we know, uh, and superpowered villains, even more of them. While dealing with secrets from his own family's past, the Green Arrow is determined to bring justice to the streets of the city, one arrow at a time. All right, well, whatever floats your boat, of course. And there was an Arrow TV series on the CW, I think it was. Never watched one episode, so there you go right there. Looking good, though. Love the green color here. Green Arrow, of course, as we can imagine, huge Oakland A's fan. Uh, being up in Seattle, you think he'd be a Mariners guy, but no, no. He wasn't on that Ken Griffey Jr. train. He was on that Mark McGuire, Jose Canseco, Bash Brothers train is what he was doing. He was all in. All in on Carney Lansford, Bob Welch, Dennis Eckersley, uh, you name it, everybody. Uh, Dave Parker, Dave Henderson, of course, Ricky Henderson. We can't forget him as well. And dare I forget, a good friend of the channel, of course, catcher to the stars, Terry Steinbach. He's always catching what you're throwing. 
Uh, shout out to the A's back there in the old 80s and 90s. That was a team. That was a team, let me tell you. Let me tell you. And there it is, the old green arrow. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Twist ties all over the place. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to green arrow business. All right. We're going to start off with some arrows. Get one loose arrow, one straight up uh, bushel of arrows. How about that? Uh, green and yellow attack for those uh, days at the Oakland Coliseum, I guess. And those days, few and far between going forward. Sad time. Sad time in Oakland is what it is. See you in Vegas. See you in Vegas. I'm sure they'll have slot machines on the third baseline. I'm sure they will. But I uh, got those arrows going on. Bright Mego style green here. We do got the long bow. Unfortunately, no uh, rubber... Um, what do you call that? What do you call that thing they pull on? The thing they pull on. That's what you call it. But not in rubber, not in string. You don't got the bow uh, going fully out. It's just kind of there for show. Very old-timey, very long bow. Something out of like uh, Robin Hood and his Merry Men or something. Who knows? Brown color, of course. Now we dive into Green Arrow himself, the main event. Looking interesting, and this is what I think of him. I think of him with that hood over the top in green. Uh, definitely a uh, renaissance man here with this facial hair. You got a little wing tip, like a young Raleigh fingers on the end. Uh, you got the goatee down there below. You got the bandito mask going on in black. Definitely looking like a guy that's uh, seen some things and done some things. His time in Seattle. A tortured soul, like a young Kurt Cobain, really, is what this is all about. I uh, would love the hood there. You do got the place to store all the arrows in the back. Always love to be able to store everything on the character. Fits right in the back right there, looking good. You got that dark green hood, dark green vest, and then you got the lime green on the outskirts there, of course, on the shirt and the pants. Get into the forearms, the gloves, the boots, you get that darker green once again. Looking like a deranged Skittle is what this guy looks like here, but man, it is my green arrow. This is what I think of, these bright, colorful green colors here. Truly living up to that green arrow moniker here with all the greens going on. Do got a uh, brown belt here, got the G on there. I'm not sure exactly what this stands for, maybe Green Bay Packer fan, who knows what he's up to. Or it could stand for Green Arrow. Yes, it could. Who knows? But he does look like a guy from Robin Hood Men in Tights. And I think Green Arrow always kind of has that feel to him a little bit when you get down to it. But he does look really, really good. Gives me that childhood flashback, childhood nostalgia here. Obviously a different feel from Amigo Toy. But still pretty cool. Going to put him with my Justice League, my Kenner Superpowers. That's where he's going to go on my shelf for sure. Now his articulation, his arms do go all the way around for us. There's a little butterfly in there if you need it. We do get the thigh, the thigh cut. How about the bicep cut? Double jointed, pinned elbows, hands back and forth, side to side. Head, pretty much no movement out of that head because of that hood. Just a little side to side there. Uh, a little bit of waist, kind of same thing going on. A little bit of splits action, though. We're here for that. Legs do go up. Double jointed, pinned knees, of course, very tight. Ankles back and forth, side to side, up and down. Toe articulation, like a young Todd McFarlane. But a good figure here. As far as McFarlane goes, this is what I'm looking for. I hope we see more very uh, superpowers, Kenner superpowers looks in the future. I'm here for that. That's what I really do want. Would love a subline of that in the future. We got Dark Side. We got a lot of them. We've got some Aquaman. We've got a few of them that do work for me. Uh, let's keep them on. Keep them on. That's what we need to do. But Green Arrow, of course, fits on the stand right there. He's ready to go. He's ready to clean up the streets of Seattle. And let me tell you, messy streets up there. Messy streets. Got another version of Green Arrow here looking like he's from Robin Hood Men in Tights, I guess. Uh, but we do got another version of Green Arrow. Definitely more iconic. Definitely more green over on this side. But both fun figures in their own way. Special in their own way. That's what they are. But there it is. Old Green Arrow McFarland Digital. What do you guys think about this one? Are you all in on the digital? Did you do your little coupon code thing and get a deal for this one like I did? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. You made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this YouTube channel. All kinds of stuff going on every single day over there. And like I said, best of all, you do support the channel. You know, support the channel at ProSTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget to hit me up. Follow along on social media. Sir Paul64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for the Green Arrow, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.